a new way of 3D printing has just been revealed, and I believe this could be a game changer for the battery industry worldwide, and in particular for the electric car industry. Why? Because it makes, possibly makes, manufacturing solid state batteries actually affordable. Here's how this revolutionary new technology works. Many in the industry are saying it is a game changer. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans. And I think this new technology could be quite interesting. When I say interesting, I mean it could revolutionize manufacturing worldwide. It's that significant. As you know, I don't normally make videos about 3D printing. However, when you look at the details behind this technology, you can see why people are claiming it is a game changer. A novel 3D printing method called high throughput combinatorial printing has been created that significantly accelerates the discovery and production of new materials. This process involves mixing multiple aerosolized nanomaterial inks during printing, which allows for fine control of the printed materials architecture and its compositions. This method produces materials with gradient compositions and properties and can be applied to a wide range of substances, including metals, semiconductors, polymers, and biomaterials. If you actually have a look at the way it works and you consider the multi-layered structures of solid state batteries, with many of them having up to 11 or more layers, you start to realize that this new tool or this new machinery could be used to build new solid state batteries to actually commercialize the time honored edisonian trial and error process of discovery is slow and it's very labor intensive that's what we've been using for years now in fact decades to develop batteries companies just go through one after another after another material and just test and test and test until finally something sticks but this takes many 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 years and often leads to nothing this hampers the development of urgently needed new battery technology solar panels and everything else you can think of which uses advanced metals and in fact uses new materials to make old things better basically what it does is it slows down the clean energy transition and environmental sustainability suffers as a result or at least it doesn't get to where it could be now keep in mind this sort of new technology can also be used for electronics and even biomedical devices potentially saving lives at the same time. It usually takes 10 to 20 years to discover a new material, said Yanni Lang Zhang, Associate Professor of Aerospace and Mechanical Engineering at the University of Notre Dame. I thought if we could shorten that time to less than a year or even a few months, it would be a game change for the discovery and manufacturing of new materials. What is really crazy is when you realize just how fast we're progressing with, with artificial intelligence. If you combine, say, a supercomputer with artificial intelligence, with this new process for manufacturing and this novel 3D printing, I believe we could very quickly develop the most amazing battery materials and most amazing batteries with an insanely high energy density within a very short space of time. It's almost like genetically modifying a seed. Obviously, to get seeds today, it took oh, hundreds of thousands of years of evolution. And then we speed up the process by planting seeds and we pick the breast plant and then we plant again and we pick the breast plant from that group and then we do it again and do it, do it, do it again. It's very slow. I mean, it's faster than what nature does it, but it's still very slow. This is like circumventing nature. Zhang, in fact, has done just that. By creating a novel 3D printing method that produces materials in ways that conventional manufacturing simply can't match. The new process mixes multiple aerosolized nanomaterial inks in a single printing nozzle, varying the ink mixing ratio on the fly during the printing process. This method, called high throughput combinatorial printing or HTCP, controls both the printed materials 3D architectures and local compositions, producing materials with gradient compositions and properties at micro scale spatial resolution. This research was just published on the 10th of May in the Journal of Nature. The aerosol-based HTCP is extremely versatile and applicable to a broad range of metals, semiconductors, dielectrics, polymers, and biomaterials, plus electrodes, all the things that we need for today's batteries. It generates combinational materials that function as libraries, each containing thousands of unique 
compositions. Continuing combinational materials printing and high throughput characterization can significantly accelerate materials discovery. It can speed it up by decades. The team behind all of this has already used this approach to identify a semiconductor material with superior thermoelectric properties, a promising discovery for energy harvesting and for cooling applications. In addition to speeding up discovery of things like battery advanced battery materials and advanced battery technologies. HTCP produces functionally graded materials that gradually transition from stiff to soft. This makes them particularly useful in biomedical applications that need to bridge between soft body tissues and stiff wearable and implantable devices. It's probably the kind of technology that Elon Musk's company Neuralink will use to one day implant chips into people's brains enabling to them to be essentially superhumans, or just enabling people who are paralyzed or don't have use of their limbs to be able to walk again. In the next phase of research, Zhang and the students of his advanced manufacturing and energy, and energy lab plan to apply machine learning and artificial intelligence guided strategies to the data rich nature of HTCP in order to accelerate the discovery and development of a broad range of materials. In the future, I hope to develop an autonomous and self-driving process for materials discovery and device manufacturing. So students in the lab can be free to focus on high level thinking, Zhang said. This technique in combination with artificial intelligence, tools like ChatGPT, which will improve over the next decade enormously, will combine to speed up the development, manufacturing, and massive energy density improvements of future batteries, enabling them to be cheaper, and not just cheaper, but easier to manufacture, faster to manufacture, and far more abundant. Clearly, electric vehicles, sustainable energy, and many other incredible new technologies will come about as a result of technologies like these. I, I, I hope you really enjoyed this video because I found this stuff really intriguing. I find these kinds of new technologies that are coming out of the woodwork everywhere. I mean, put them all together. The world is actually moving at an incredible pace towards being a place where we can all actually be proud of what we have. Now today, there's just rubbish. To be honest, I'm in Thailand right now. There's, there's rubbish in a lot of places. There's a lot of things where there's just massive amounts of pollution. And I'm talking in particular from cars. You can't escape everywhere. You can smell diesel fumes. You can see, you know, you can see smoke stacks. You can see smoke from fires in farms. But all of this will change over the next 10 to 20 years. And I believe the world is truly heading towards a place we can be proud to hand to our grandchildren. It may not appear that way today because we live on a 24 hour news cycle. The news is always negative. That's how it works. They don't report on positive things like this. They just talk about negative stuff. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.